Happy to see you here on my channel, hi MS Medics, and today we have a really great challenge, 3 to the x plus 3 to the y plus 3 to the z equal to 837, and we need to find our x, y, and z. Let's do this. First of all, let's rewrite our challenge right here. So what do we have in our challenge? We have 3 to the x plus 3 to the y, here's our challenge, and plus 3 to the power z equal to 837. Okay, here's our, here's our challenge. What are we going to do next? Let's suppose that x is greater or equal than y, okay, and y is greater or equal than, than d. Let's suppose that this is a correct inequality. <clears throat> okay, let's go to the next challenge. Let's factor from this, uh, from this left-hand side, let's factor 3 to the power z, okay, let's do this. So what do we have right here? If factor 3 to the power z from this expression, so we have 3 to the power z. Inside parentheses, what do we have? If we factor 3 to the power z from this expression, we have 3 to the power not x, but x minus z. Okay, really important moment. If we factor 3 to the power z from this expression, what do we have? We have 3 to the power y minus z. Okay, y minus z. And of course, we factor 3 to the power z from this one. So we have plus, plus 1, which is equal to 800. 837. Okay, we factor 3 to the power z. What are we going to do next? 837, let's express in another way, because this is a really bad express for us, expression for us. Let's express this 837 as a product, okay? So let's divide, for example, we can easily divide it by 3, okay? And what do we have right here? If we divide 837 by, by 3, what do we have? We have 279, we can easily divide it by 3 once more. So what do we have right here? By 3, if we divide, we have 93. And we can easily divide it by 3 once more. So we have 31. Okay? So we can express this 837, 837 as 3 cube. Okay? Because we have 3 times, 3 times 3 times 3, and times 31. Okay? This is our expression instead of 837. So let's rewrite it. Let's re rewrite this. So what do we have right here? 3 to the power z. Inside parentheses we have 3 to the power x minus z plus 3 to the power y minus z plus 1 equal to, instead of this expression we write 3 to the power 3, 3 to the power 3 times 31. Okay? Okay, so we hope you understand this step. We just express this 837 in another way. And right now, if you look closely, we have 3 to the power z right here, and we have 3 to the power 3 right here. So one iron equation that this equation has roots when 3 to the power z equal to 3 cube. Okay, so let's separate these parts right here, for example, and let's write that 3 to the power z equal to 3 cube. Okay, and from here, obviously, z equal to 3. Okay, z equal to 3. This is our first, first solution. This is really great. We find z equal to 3. <clears throat> but in our minds, we cancel this 3 to the power z in our heads only. Yeah, we, we cancel this expression and this expression. But we still have this expression inside parentheses. So let's rewrite it. 3 to the power x minus z plus 3 to the power y minus z and plus 1, yeah, and equal to 31. We still have this 31. Okay? Really great. What are we going to do next? Let's bring this one from left to right side. So what do we have? 3 to the power x minus z plus 3 to the power y minus z, which is equal to 31 minus 1. We have, we have 30. We have 30. And right now, let's do the same logic as I told before. Let's express this 30 as 3 times 10. But before this, we can obviously see that x, x is greater, so x minus z is greater or equal than y minus z. And in, if from here, x is greater or equal than y. This is our inequality, we really need this right now. x is greater or equal than y. This is our rule that we really need right now. So let's continue solving, solving this challenge. So let's write this 30 as 3 times 10. So what do we have right here? We have 3 to the power x minus z, x minus z, plus 3 to the power y minus z, equal to, right here we can write this 30 as 3 times 10. 3 times 10. Really great. And right now, let's factor from this expression, from this expression on the right-hand side, let's factor 3 to the power y minus z. So let's factor this, this expression. So what do we have? 3 to the power y minus z. So we factor in it. And right here, if we factor 3 to the power minus z from this expression, we have 3 to the power x minus z and minus 
minus y minus z because we factor in this expression okay inside parentheses of course don't forget about it and plus one because we factor this three to the power y minus z so plus one which is equal to three times three times ten really great really great so right now let's simplify this expression inside parentheses a little bit so what do we have 3 to the power y minus z and inside parentheses what do we have 3 to the power x minus z so x minus z minus y plus z minus minus y sorry yeah minus minus right here minus y and plus z so minus z and minus z uh, and plus z we can easily cancel this and of course we have plus 1 which is equal to 3 times 10 and last step let's simplify this once more a little bit so what do we have right here x minus y only yeah? so we have 3 to the power 3 to the power y minus z inside parentheses we have 3 to the power x minus y x minus y of course plus 1 equal to equal to 3 times then. And right now, if you look closely, as I told before right here, we have 3 to the power y minus z right here, and we have right here only, only 3. So it means that y minus z equal to, equal, so 3 to the power y minus z, okay, let's write this expression right here. So on the left side right here, let's write it. 3 to the power y minus z equal to 3. So what do we have? 3 to the power y minus z equal to equal to 3 okay and from here y minus z equal to 1 because right here we have 1 this is like a basic exponential equation so we have y minus z equal to 1 and we know that uh, z equal to 3 right here z equal to 3 so we have y minus 3 equal to 1 and from here y equal to equal to 4 yeah brilliant we find our second second solution y equal to 4 but we still have parentheses and we still have 10, okay? We, we still have this expression and this expression. In our minds, we cancel this expression because we find our root and these three we can easily cancel in our minds only, okay? <clears throat> so what do we have right here? We still have 3 to the power x minus y. So we have 3 to the power x minus y plus 1 equal to, equal to 10. Once more, really basic uh, equation, really basic exponential equation. We can easily solve this. First of all, let's bring this one from left to right. So we, what do we have? 3 to the power x minus y equal to 10 minus 1 equal to 9. Okay, or in other minds, we can easily write it as 3 square. Okay, I want to write it this per inside, uh, with parentheses. Or let's write it in a new line, for example. So what do we have? 3 to the power x minus y equal to 3 square square and from here our and from here one and from here our uh, x minus y equal to 2 okay so from here our x minus y equal to equal to 2 we know that y equal to 4 right here so x minus 4 so what do we have x minus 4 equal to 2 so our x equal to equal to 6 and really great we find our our solution x equal to 6 but let's write our general solutions right here let's write our general solution so we know that x y and z z so three solutions so x y and z it is equal to mm, we know that x equal to 6 so we have 6 we have y equal to 4 and in the in the top right here we had that z equal to 3 right here so z equal to 3 so 6 4 and 3 but in the beginning we suppose so this is works if if right here if x is greater or equal than y and greater or equal than z we supposed in the beginning so if we're talking about all solutions so let's write our all solution this is all combinations of these 6 4 and 3 so let's write our answer this is all combinations so our answer so x y and z all pairs of this uh, of this solution so we have first pair 6 4 3 second combination 6 3 4 6 3 4 one small combination 4 6 3 4 6 3 the next combination 4 3 6 4 3 6 yeah Next combination, 3, 6, 4, 3, 6, 4, and the last step, 3, 4, 6, 3, 4, 
6. This is our all combination. These are our all combinations right here. So six pairs of solutions, six elements, six uh, solutions in this case. So I hope you, you understand this explanation. This is really great method for everyone to solve these kind of challenges where you should factor all the time this right expression. So as you can see right here, we factor all the time this 3 to the power z. Okay, so we factor from here, so as a result, we, we can easily find our first root 3z and right here 3 cubed, so z equal to 3. And step by step, you like eliminated this parenthesis you know, in your head and you go step by step to our, to our x, y and z before. So this is my explanation to this challenge. Also, thank you for your time, thank you for your support. Uh, see you in the next videos and if this video is helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe and that definitely helped me out now for this particular video. So thank you for your time, see you in the next videos.